to everyone, we already learned all the Excel features which are used in data analysis. As we know, Excel is mostly used with small data, but in order to work with large data, you should know how to use the Python programming language and its libraries. So in this section, we will learn the basics of Python program language. Python is widely used language and it's extremely important to know how it works. In the future, when you work with large data, you need to extract data from different sources. So you will need to use Python libraries such as Pandas, NumPy, Matlab, etc. So in order to learn this Python, you should first practice it and after that, move to the, its libraries. Let's start uploading these platforms on our device in order to use the programming language. First, we will just begin with downloading Python. Then we will download the Git patch. And after that, we will upload Jupyter Notebook in order to work easily on it. Here, I have up, I have clicked on the Python. Python. I have searched it and go went to the official website here. I have a button here for downloading it. I click on this, I have a Windows operating system and I downloaded it and open it here. Here I have a window for running it, I click on run. And here I have a couple of options for customizing it. I shall check in this option here for adding the extensions and here I, will sh I should enable all these commands. And in advanced options, I will have to check in installing Python on my device and click next and start the setup process here. It will take a while installing it. You should wait for a bit. I will fast forward it in order to save my time. You should wait approximately 5 to 10 minutes in order to install it on your device. Here, just wait for a bit. Yes, I have installed it and I will close it and try to run it on my device. First, in order to run it, I will type in CMD on my Windows and open my command prompt and here I have a default path and if I click Python here you will see that it has a Python installed version of my device and but I don't want to work with command prompt in order to work with git push I will have to download it git push is also command prompt but it's very easy to use compared to the command default command prompt of my windows here I will download it git push git and on my windows but before downloading it hey you, uh, you can see that you have a couple of options if you are going to download for a windows first you will check your windows operating system here and make sure that you have a 64 or 32 and if your operating system corresponds to your program you should download it in that case i have a 64 operating system here and i will download it according to my device settings this one i have downloaded it here now i will try to open it and install it on my device It will take time again, you should wait unless it will be uploaded to your device. Then just type in, show it in your folder, open it and run it on your device. This git git push is a very useful tool, it's very easy to work with it. Just click on default settings only next next and install it again it will take time in order to install it on your device here i have installed it and 
I'm going to run it on my device. I will open it by typing git bash and you could see there's a command prompt. I will type in Python version instead of a Python and click enter. You could see that it shows me Python that's downloaded here. And now I will install I will install the Jupyter notebook. I will type in pip install notebook and click enter and automatically start to install Jupyter Notebook. Jupyter Notebook is a very useful tool because it visually represents your code and the output. Uh, I really like to work with this notebook and I just suggest it for you too. Again here you should wait for five minutes I think. Uh, after completing it, you will open it. It starts to open automatically. It will just open the local host, and uh, when you open your file, you will see your local disk. You will see that all these files are opened in the local host here. First, I will try to add in some folder here and check if it starts or copies this folder automatically uploads it to the server if i refresh it i will have to have a folder called python here i will refresh the page and you can see there's a python folder here that has been created in my local disk and here i will have to create a folder rename it if i want let's type in some name like introduction the type thing I have typed and here I can create my file my file will be created here and I can rename it Let's type in lesson one and this file is saved automatically to the, in the local host and as well as in my local disk and it has an IPNB extension. IPNB extension is the is uh, called the IPython notebook expression. It was formerly called like that. And here for checking if my code works, I will type in print hello. And it works well. You could see that it has printed hello as an output output. And now I can just leave my server here. And check if it's still there if I just click again on my folder and go to this folder again you will see that it has a file and my saved code here and this code is also saved in my local disk too